taking a bath i'm in this room because the lighting is a little bit better but yeah i'm just waiting for this mask to dry up a little bit before i take it off i normally put it on before i go inside the bathtub and then um let it stay for another 10 minutes when i'm out so it looks like it is actually drying up so i'm gonna remove this and then we can get this day started this is my OOTD guys, my outfit of the day, as usual, jeans, a top, I don't know, if, yeah, it's a bodysuit and this basic skinny jeans and then as always, some socks and um, some socks and slippers, so this bodysuit, where did I get this bodysuit, I think I got it from Mr. Price, so yeah, skinny jeans, bodysuit, um, some socks obviously as well as some slippers hey guys welcome back to my channel we're doing another vlog and i can't believe i went on and on about my mask i didn't even say hi i'm so sorry guys hey i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are still good and healthy i hope you and your family and friends are basically still still okay yeah i hope you guys are good we have hit a thousand subscribers i'm so excited guys like not seeing and i'm just so so happy and i have all of you guys to thank for that so i just wanted to say thank you so much um and if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed please do the right thing by clicking that subscribe button i've noticed there's like 80 percent of people that are watching but have not yet subscribed so if you can babe just do it yeah but thank you guys so much for um yeah subscribing thank you for commenting and it's just one of those things that keep you going you know i think it means that i'm definitely doing something right i hope that i i am adding some value into your lives and um, i'm vlogging again um I, you guys saw what i got up to in the morning and um I'm not gonna show you guys the gowns that I said I was gonna show you in my other video and it's basically dresses that I've either worn one some of them I haven't really worn there's um, I think about two that I haven't worn and I also tell you guys like the story behind these dresses <laughs> the story behind these dresses and why I got them and um, I will share also the prices so I'm gonna show you guys the dress the very first dress that I got leading to Karabo's wedding the theme was black tie and obviously in my head and me being black I was like there's no way they would allow us to wear black dresses at a wedding because black has always been associated or linked with bad luck especially at weddings so i was like okay no even if it's black tie maybe my dates can wear black but as a woman i just thought i was not allowed so i went and got this dress it's so beautiful and um it basically has like a boob tube neckline and it has these glittery details there and it's like a mid length so it's just just below the knees which was perfect for me and i got this because i wasn't ready to show um my bump then i was pregnant by the way at that time so i was very happy with the dress i didn't want i was at that point you know when you don't want people to know so i was very happy with this dress uh number one because it was definitely going to hide my bump and it was just like a really cute dress like i feel like it makes me look like a beautiful <laughs> a beautiful yellow cupcake it's so cute guys i love this dress and to top it off i paid 100 rand for this dress like i am that girl i don't know why i do that to myself but i paid 100 rand for this dress imagine wearing a 100 rand dress at your friend's wedding i am that girl okay but again now it didn't work because i felt like i looked like a bridesmaid you know i didn't want to look like a bridesmaid but i had already bought it and it is in a size small and then i had already altered it because the waist was a little bit big it was so perfect but i think i just came to my senses i was like i can't do this looks like a bridesmaid's dress so i was like okay not gonna do this so i went and started looking for another dress 
I remember I went with my colleague to Small Street and I got this dress. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna alter it and just make it like, you know. I paid around 250, if not less. But then I was also like, but do I really want to wear a Small Street dress to my friend's wedding? Like, I was like, no man. You know, like, it's a beautiful dress, yes. But also, do I want to wear a Small Street dress at a wedding? so then i i was like okay now it's time to look for another dress so i stumbled upon this dress you guys it's like a blush pink dress and it has like a fish tail oh it's so stunning it has like a fish tail it's very long so unfortunately i can't show you um the whole dress but i'll put a clip there so it's basically a, can you also see how already it's meant to snatch your waist <laughs> and yeah this is basically the dress guys i love this dress it has a um, what neckline is this i don't know what this neckline is called but it was perfect for me my boobs were big like they were humongous they i was very happy with this dress i think i felt like a like a mermaid you know as i was walking there i felt like a pregnant mermaid it was so cute and I see myself wearing this maybe to another wedding. Yeah, I'm still hoping to wear the yellow one. Honestly, love this dress, you guys. The next dress is another blush pink, another fishtail dress. But this one is a little bit longer. Um, it's actually very long. <laughs> I wore this dress at my baby shower. And um, my fashion designer friend actually made this dress from scratch for me. So it is a very special dress. I hold this dress close to my heart. Um, I'm hoping one day my daughter is going to wear this dress. I don't know where. Uh, but yeah, obviously you guys can see that um, fishtail <laughs> fish and blush pink was my vibe clearly when I was pregnant. But I really love this dress, you guys. It's so, so pretty. I don't know why, though, I decided to go with the boob tube because my boobs were already so big. Like, they were already so big and boob tube means that they are not going to be held up. Anyway, stunning dress. So it has a zip here at the back and um it's really stunning just yeah, the silhouette of it is just really perfect the price was also really really good i think i paid 950 for this dress and yeah i was just really blown away i i don't know if i would wear this dress myself anymore because it is a little bit dramatic especially with the tail so i don't think i would wear something like this at a wedding or at um yeah basically i don't think i would wear this anywhere else actually so i'm just gonna keep this for my daughter and i don't know maybe you know the trick dance vibes you know i don't know but yeah really really love this dress if you are interested i'll put the link down on all her social media below she makes amazing 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 clothes so yeah so the next dress um is let me show you guys uh and now okay there we go it still has a tag so i bought this dress for my pregnancy photo shoot and um the idea was that i'm gonna wear it and then because it only worked for two hours actually not even two hours i think we were done after like just after an hour so i was like maybe i should just wear this dress for those two hours and then take it back like return it to the store and then i eventually decided to actually no that is disgusting um no one should do that and now i'm stuck with this dress that i only wore for an hour and it was 1000 and yeah 1.1 1 .1, also from yde but it's so stunning i definitely definitely see myself wearing this it has like a v neckline and um also mermaid -y. <laughs> clearly that was my vibe guys and it has a slit like right in the middle i wish it was on the side but anyway so weird but i would definitely wear this so i'm not gonna give this one away i'll probably give away the pink one Ugh. i'll probably give away the pink one um because it's gonna cost me more money to alter it so it's just easier to to give it away so yeah i'm gonna go now and uh, make myself a salad i'm so hungry 
so I'm gonna make a salad I actually saw the salad from one of my friends and it just looked so yummy I was like I have to try that so I'm gonna go do that and then um, yeah I'll catch you guys later I saw this from actually one of my friends I'll just put a picture I saw this from one of my friends and I was like this looks really really yummy so I wanted to try it out and yeah these are my ingredients I just have um, some bacon I've already diced up my chicken fillets um, these are some chia seeds that I'm gonna use as a topping I have a tomato some ever of course uh, some lettuce and then I have oh, I have paprika and some chicken spice as well as salt um, just to season and the dressing I really like my dressing really basic so I went with this vinaigrette and yeah let me show you guys So my chicken is done you guys, um, I didn't want to overcook it, uh, I think it's too dry. I also went and chopped my tomatoes as well as some ever. So I'm gonna go now and actually plate the salad. I've already put um, a bit of lettuce there, I'm just gonna season this with um, this vinaigrette and then yeah, I'm gonna shake this up a little bit, shake it up and then add just a little bit not too much I like these like very sour dressings not the creamy ones I think that should be enough um, and then I'm gonna go in with my bacon so I'm gonna put my bacon on this side uh, I realized that plating is very 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 important when you make food it just makes the food even more appetizing and then I'm gonna go in with my tomatoes some tomatoes And then I'm gonna go in with some chia seeds, just a little bit, just to top it up a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, guys, this is my salad. I think it looks so pretty. I hope that it tastes as good. I'm gonna just go over again with the dressing, just a little bit, and yeah. I'm happy with this, guys. I'm happy with how it turned out, actually. I'm so proud of this plant it's getting so big and I'm not even doing anything out of the ordinary I'm just watering it once a week it's so big I'm actually even considering transport I mean transferring it to another another pot like a bigger pot the only thing that makes me sad is this crack here I dropped this thing while I was trying to I was trying to uh, carry a chair from this room to my bedroom but anyway I think I'm just gonna spray paint it. I don't think this is gonna make me replace and not much else has changed on this bookshelf. I still have my bags there which I'm considering removing. 
and just like styling this as a bookshelf like as a proper bookshelf but yeah not much has changed there and then i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do with this grid i still have this hello and the sign that i got with um the grid i added my initial and a picture of myself obviously because i am a narcissist and then I got this thing. I actually wish this thing was black, but I got this thing from Pep Home. It was 10 bucks. It's the very same thing that I use in my daughter's uh, chest of drawer. And I just have a couple of stationery and um, yeah, this hasn't changed yet. I use this thing. This thing was 3D printed and spray painted gold. I use it when I am working or when I'm studying. I'll just put my phone there horizontally when I, while I watch youtube and i think this is the most exciting thing about this space for now i got this marble um placemat from pip it was 9 99 and then um yeah i'm still on the lookout for um a really cute mouse pad i haven't really found one and i'm just gonna use this for now and then i oh and then I've organized this um, this drawer like this. Um, that's my notepad and a couple of stationery and hand creams or whatever. And then laptop. Um, oh yeah. So I got these stick on things from Deals, and I'm just going to. I think they're like very cute, and I'm just going to basically stick these things on um, on these round things, which are. <laughs> which i took from bella rose um as always so i'm just gonna stick these onto here and then i need to get these gold clip things and then i'm just gonna add a bit more just to fill it up a bit i think these are really cute this one says never give up i think it's like really positive affirmations and yeah also love the gold obviously this plant is still doing okay obviously it's very hard to kill this and you guys so i received this package right i received this package and obviously sanitized it and i did not wait for the alcohol to dry so i immediately put um this thing on top of this table and this happened like my heart is so shattered and um it was actually the black the black was also there and then i managed to remove that with acetone obviously alcohol is a solvent so it did what um solvent to do and now this thing does not want to come out of my on my desk i've tried acetone i've tried handy andy i've also tried thinners so it's just looking like this now i'm so hurt <laughs> like i'm really hurt and i wasn't even planning on changing anything on this desk but i think my options are to paint it white or use contact paper to just cover the whole desk but yeah guys hey and then I don't like Wi-Fi's that are that stick at the back like that. So I'm gonna have to find a place to hide that. I'm just not sure where. And then I replace my elephant ear with um with my Ruskus, which I think is so perfect here. And yeah, you guys, I'm gonna now try to tidy this place up. Oh, this kahi thing. So this is um a thingy I used at my baby shower and. I feel like it's a little bit, no, it's actually a bit too much. So I'm going to have to remove this. That area there still looks empty. And I don't know how I feel about that frame anymore. So these yeah. two, um, I think this is going to be enough. I didn't want to overcrowd the grid. So I went with the never give up, wake up and be happy. And then I can and I will. So I just need to get the gold clip on. And then I'm going to put them up there and... I think that should complete my my grid. Here, some sort of a bubble bath for my daughter. Um, it's a bit cold today, so I'm not gonna let her stay in for too long. Um, normally, I'll just let her play a bit, but yeah, it is cold today, so we're not doing that. Mm. Mm. We're lucky. 